Oh, God. So tired. Yeah. Yeah. You had a migraine? Oh, man. Yeah, I, uh... A Zoloft-induced migraine? I don't think oh, so. Oh, Kim's on Zoloft now. Yeah, I'm on Zoloft now. The world, just so everyone knows. Hey, everyone. I don't know if, if Kim wanted to keep that a secret, but no, I, I don't think that care. No, I think it's super important to, uh, to destigmatize post- postpartum depression. Yeah. Uh, because Which it looks you like definitely have. Oh, it was, yeah, it was, apparently it was real bad. <laughs> uh, the doctor was like, sheesh. Um, Jojo has fun. Best welcome back, everybody. Hey, everyone. Oh, welcome back to uh, Jojo has fun. Um, I am Stephanie, and as you know, Kim is Matt Pat, and we are painting a house. Yep. I don't know. That's us. Yep. It's we're uh, so we were just talking about songs that. Uh, so I read a baby book, and it said to change the lyrics of songs so that they're you include the name of your child, but the example that they used was "Twinkle Twinkle Little Alex." That's dumb. Yeah. If if my parent... I'd be like, you're a dumb parent. <laughs> like, like I get me a new parent because you're stupid. <laughs> like, Twinkle... Like, there's so many better things that you could do than... Like, where are you going to go with that? Yeah. Like, it, like a- a- Alex. It's... And now, the worst part is, now that's how I sing that song. Twinkle, the twinkle, twinkle little, little... Alex. Alex. <laughs> do... Yeah, your family you do abuse, but... You abuse your family and you bribe them with shit so they do things. Yeah. Like, you bribe your child to get good grades. That's what happened to me. That's why oh, I'm really? good at school. Yeah. Because I was bribed into it. See, that's maybe that's why I was bad at school. I wasn't bribed. Yeah, well, because... Yeah, see... That, My parents didn't uh, have again, anything... Again, another thing that money has enabled is parents Wait, can did bribe they, their children. Did they bribed you with money? Yeah. They were like, you get an A, you get $20. What? Every Holy A you shit. get twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah, and I got an allowance too. What? Suck it, nerds. <laughs> I do feel like I'm sucking it. <laughs> nerds. nerds. Yeah, I would get allowance. I would get. I think it was ten bucks a week. And we would. And we, yeah. Well, I had a I had a job when I was sixteen, and I have and I've had gainful employment since then, but. I remember I would have I would get ten dollars a week in allowance, and I would go to the mall, and I would buy like kill him uh, like an so action figure. Baby. That's what I liked. I yeah. liked buying action figures, and I had a full set of Earthworm Jim action figures, and I had a full set of the Mighty not the Mighty Morphin. It's like the the Beetleborgs. You remember the Beetleborgs? Big bad Beetleborgs. Wow. Yeah. If Where they they fought with a giant beetle. And um, they were friends with a bunch of monsters that lived in a house. I guarantee you, if my parents were giving me money every week and I was buying action figures, they would stop giving me money. Oh, well, fuck your parents. <laughs> they would be they like, suck, if you're going to keep buying action figures. What do they expect you to buy? Pencils? Who cares? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I gave you that $10 to get a dime bag, Kimmy. <laughs> a dime bag. This is a nickel bag, and you have a new bow. Explain yourself. And you're like, oh, mm. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> like, oh, she said the catchphrase. I got to let her go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could actually stop this job right now and get paid. Don't do that. Okay. That would make me really upset. Wouldn't it, though? Yeah. I would be thinking about it for the rest of the week. Yeah, I don't even... I'd be up in Oregon. I wouldn't be able to enjoy myself. You'd be like... In, in half the, that house doesn't... The, 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 what's wrong? Kim's like, fucking... We only painted half the room. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 Jojo and I are fixing up a house. And like, what? <laughs> Apparently, uh, postpartum depression can make you, like like say like hear voices and stuff like you actually like you like you legit like auditory like hallucinations really, yeah like you're really losing it has that happened to you yet um no i had, did have something kind of weird happen and now i can't remember what it was it must not have been that weird no and uh well now now that i'm on medicine i'm like nothing happened it's fine <laughs> it's, <laughs> that's what the medicine does yeah <laughs> It's the medicine is essentially like a giant going, shh, shh, you're okay, shh, <laughs> just like I do with Pip. Yeah. Oh, you're the Pip to Zoloft. Yeah, Zoloft is my mom. 
<laughs> Thank God. Thank God for Zoloft. Zoloft is my mom. This is best at Games Lewis. <laughs> Struggling to get through Games Lewis. The thing that you do that drives me crazy yeah. is that you jump when you <laughs> <laughs> every game you play. Why? It what? just it's in in this game especially because you get stuck going through doorways sometimes. No, I don't. Because you're jumping. No, it's fine. Look, if the game didn't want me to jump constantly, it would do something to punish me for jumping constantly. Oh uh, god, I want to punish you for jumping constantly. <laughs> Whoops. Why? <laughs> I, I want to go in the back way because it was funner. I'll go over here. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, cool. I embraced. Look at this shitty house. Oh, so um, radiator story. Yeah. My go parents on. used to turn the heat up to 90. How do people live like this? Um, And then... And then they would wait, like, because they they were convinced that the house would heat up faster if they cranked the heat. Oh. And so they would crank the heat up. Um, That's and not then, how radiators work, is it? No. So they'd crank the heat up, and then uh, the radiators would heat up, and then they would put it back down to, like, 65 or 70 or whatever was comfortable for them. Okay. Um, well, one day, they... Uh, At least they forgot. They forgot to put the heat back down and left the house. Oh. And one of the radiators exploded. Wow. Um, which, if it happens when you're in the room, you'll die. Because wow. it's... It, it, um, so it took Cause down... Because it's, well, it's so much pressure and it's heat. So it's so much like pressure and it's full off. of... Yeah, it's full of boiling water. Yeah, you will totally die yeah. from that. And so it exploded in, in our guest bedroom and uh, it took the ceiling down and the wallpaper... And uh, destroy the floor. And it's all because they uh, would turn the heat up and then... How old were you? Um, I was in college. I came home to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and God, so, yeah, I came home up. and the house was like really like super humid and extremely hot. And I was like, this is not good. <laughs> like, like, I wonder. Yeah. I just wonder. And then you walk into the guest bedroom and it's like a bomb went off yeah. and you're like there it is yeah i was like something bad happened here <laughs> something hilarious just yeah. went down and i want to know what sorry okay i gotta oh, get get underneath I'm, there I'm, <laughs> I'm out of here <laughs> i'm out of here that's new yeah no little, little yeah little his uh catchphrase no, no, I'm out of here was always part of the game, but that he talks to Thomas. Oh. And Thomas is like, you got to do your job. And Wally's like, I'm lazy. Uh-huh. I'm out of here. Are you sure that's the way that we do it? Because I'm pretty sure I'm out of here. Giving women the vote? Are you sure? I'm out of here. <laughs> Isn't that just giving a man two votes? They're just going to vote the same as their husband. And then I'm out of here. And then I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You just say, like, that could be your new way out of a horrible situation. <laughs> what are you, pregnant or just super fat? I'm, I'm out of here. here. <laughs> <laughs> your mom didn't spend any time with you on Christmas because she was too busy fucking another man? Well, I'm, I'm out of here. here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that's delightful. I'm yep. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Wally. So you know how uh, yesterday I said, uh, hey, see you guys tomorrow? Well, I, I made the mistake of... Um, Saying see you guys tomorrow? No, no, I made the mistake of painting one strip of this wall... And so Kim goes, well, now we have to paint the whole thing. <laughs> so you better turn the recorder back on and do one more episode. Of this. <laughs> and and we have a ticking time bomb, which is my son. Yeah. Uh, so now I got to finish this job. Yeah. Yeah, you do. God damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you're in, in, in one more episode of, of house flipping. Yeah, I love this game and we're going to play it. You're lucky I'm letting you play anything else today. (laughs) (laughs) And I want to try it because it sounds good.
You could probably make your own. Oh, okay. So, I've been watching... Um, wow, this just got passionate. Go on. Crafting. All right? Crafting videos. Five-minute crafts, okay? And there's one that was so... Re- okay, so it's like these people, I, they have to be in another country because they had one where uh, they they had they advertised like the Coca Cola with the with the coffee in it, which was great. Yeah, cool. But then there was one where they were like, "Here's easy five minute crafting fixes," and one of them was she had a plate, a ceramic plate. Okay. She drops it on the ground, breaks into like four distinct pieces. She takes that plate, she puts it in a pan. Okay. Covers it in milk. That she claims is warm milk. So she taped it together with like some type of ceramic tape. Yep. Covers it in milk. Says wait 48 hours. And she pulls out of the still liquid milk a perfectly good plate. Like it hadn't even been broken. She's fucking with you. Yeah. That's that's the Pinterest of maker videos. Yeah. It's... it's a fucking bullshit thing and I remember seeing it like this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen well Pinterest does that a lot really yeah Pinterest will be like oh yeah do you know use coconut oil and apple cider vinegar and you'll lose 400 pounds and today and you'll also like get really rich and your babies will be smart is that why apple cider vinegar is in so many stores now like so much of it uh, yeah people well apple cider vinegar uh, helps you poop, and so people think that it's really good for dieting. Oh. Um, but I don't know. I, I think that people just they're they're the same. They do the same thing with fiber. They're like, oh well, fiber helps you poop, so therefore, the more I poop, the thinner I'll be. Well, no, I mean it just keeps you regular. Yeah, you still have to have like good habits. Yeah, and people don't get that part. Yeah. they they just focus on the poop. I do love pooping though. Yeah, pooping is pretty great. Yeah, um, I, mean, I, I eat a lot of dates, and so let me tell you, I'm a d- real poop factory. Wow. Oh. Uh huh. Once my dad's car got tagged with graffiti when he was in Boston. Really? Yeah. I never heard about that happening in real life. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, this uh, Los Loco gang or whatever. Oh. But they used um, they used washable spray paint. That's really thoughtful. Yeah, it really was. And it was funny because he went down to the police station to, um, or he like called the police station to report like, oh, I, I got tagged. And they were like, oh, um, try, just try washing it off before you like, like do anything really drastic because we've heard that it's washable. And then you're like, yeah, it like just came right off. That's incredibly thoughtful of, of criminals. Yeah. <laughs> to be like, we're going to tag up this car, but let's not be assholes. Yeah. Because, like, what if they don't want this tag? We have, a, we have a point to make, and we'll make it. But honestly, let's let's just be yeah. nice about this. Because yeah. this car is not always going to be here. Yeah. And so I'm sure they were like, it's, one guy was like, hey, let's tag this car. And another guy was like, hey, Jared, hold on. Jared? What if, what if he doesn't want to have this on the side of his car? Like, let's give him the option to take it off. Oh, okay, okay. And then Jared's like, you know, that's why you're in charge, Spider. Spider. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has, like, really normal names. <laughs> And then there's Spider. <laughs> the leader is Spider. <laughs> but, but... Uh, la- a- undisclosed location? You know, Kim, this is a contest. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wait. Uh, C-L-O-L-O-C-A-T-I-O-N. That was yeah. ridiculous. To be honest, I wasn't sure how you Thank you for giving me the answer, Kim. You're welcome. I am now solidly but, in the lead. But we're twinsies, so I feel like you have to share that money with your twinsie. Because I assume that we sleep in bug beds at yeah, our Yeah, you can house. assume that all you want. And uh, I want to steal that money. I know where you keep it. Finally have to flip a house yourself. You are capable. Man, the Zoloft must have just kicked in. I just had the thought, God, I love my baby. Oh, <laughs> That Zoloft. Uh, oh, man. You trickster. I know a lot of people who should be on that. Yeah. Dude, I don't know why they don't put everyone on it. Yeah. Because everyone thinks they're fine and can handle life. They're not fine. You're so much better on drugs. <laughs>
Like any time, I, honestly, if anyone ever gets mad at me ever again, I'm just going to say to them, have you tried Zoloft? It really I think that that will really make them not more mad. If anything, it will cut the mad off Yeah. at the source, your brain. Yeah. Because, man. Could you imagine if you were, like, like, really mad at, like, a, like, you were, you were given the wrong change at In-N-Out. And, that would drive me insane. And, yeah, and then the person just said, and you're like, excuse me, I gave you a 20. And the person just goes, have, have you tried so loft? And you'd be like, you're right. You're right. I guess I didn't give you a 20. Yeah. Oh, don't scare me. That would suck. That would really suck. Because then it's like, how do you advance? Yeah, you don't. How would how ooh, how ooh, would can you get in that door? Can you get I, in that door? I think I've done that before. Ah! Yeah, we've been in here. Okay. Yeah, Grant Cohen. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I think when you reload the game, it resets a lot of things. Like oh, it resets that, the area. That sucks. But yeah, it's stupid. Like, why would it do that? But you know. But you know, it's a stupid game. So yeah, it's a stupid, terrible game that the Meatly should be ashamed of. Yeah, yeah. And the Meatly's you like, "Well, you're not gonna like my game, eh?" <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, worth it. Yeah. Well, no, it's a good game. It's never gonna get old. No, it's I'm gonna not. be doing that to Mike all week, and he's gonna be like, "Could you please leave? Could you please leave? Take the baby. <laughs> yeah. I got cigarettes. I get. I'm out of here. here. That's what. Oh. I'll, that'll be the last thing that Mike hears me say to him. <laughs> Well, I, I found out today that apparently the YouTube algorithm is still bad. <laughs> really? Well, I saw a video, to, uh, not today, it was like yesterday from uh, Gerard the Completionist, where it was... <sighs> I feel bad talking about it, Go but ahead. it was basically like, it was almost a threat, because he was like, yeah, so... Uh, we're not getting the views we normally get and we tried the thing we normally do like in order to increase views like doing a popular game and that didn't work this time and he was like yeah so views aren't going up and I might have to fire people what? and I was like whoa Gerard that's pretty huge yeah well out of a cannon Jeff says um, that's how you get the views is, is cartoon fire violence people. but he's basically like I don't want to do cannon. I don't want to do uh pranks and i don't i don't want to do a video on Fortnite. and i was like oh i get that but man way to way to make us little guys feel very very troubled and do yeah i can't believe that there are people getting paid yeah seriously like that was the first time i realized you could get paid doing youtube yeah that's that's we all just, i heard right there yeah and it's like wait, wait a minute you you get paid enough to not have enough yeah. are you kidding me that means you got paid more at some point and yeah. times have changed Anyway, I wonder if Gerard gets dental. Ooh, I bet that he can pay cash for dental. You think you think uh, Gerard pays for his his teeth cash? Yeah. Gerard. Yeah. Do you get dental? Also, question: Do you sign your own paychecks? Yeah. Or or do you? Is it an LLC? I would think you would. Ha all, Costco would handle all that. Costco. Costco no. can handle payroll. I wouldn't do that. I would go through like a like a credit union. Of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you support the little guy with your fucking credit card that looks like it was made in Legos. Yep. Printed in your garage. Yep. Doesn't work sometimes. Gerard, do you use a credit union? <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> Gerard. Hey, Gerard. <laughs> Gerard, listen. My credit union has a five-digit account number. It's stupid. That's Gerard, how many fake. how many numbers is your credit yeah, union? Yeah, so use? mine is five. How many is yours, Gerard? What, Gerard? What's in your wallet? <laughs> is it golden one? Golden one is that right? No, that's uh, capital, capital one. one. I knew it was a one. Gerard, did you know it was a one? <laughs> <laughs> I hope sincerely there will come a day. When we will be wildly successful, and I will have to reckon with the fact that I talked to Gerard a lot in this episode. <laughs> talked a lot about Gerard. He's, he, uh, he's a good guy. I'm sure he'd be cool with it. You don't, or maybe, you Gerard, don't know that he's a good guy. Will you be guy. cool with it? Hey, Gerard. Hey, Gerard. <laughs> Let me. 
Listen, I want to give you a, a playful nickname, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, why you no cool? Jerry, why why you got to be like that? Also, call me back. I'm sure I called you. Hey, shh, 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 shh. Sh. Okay, Gerard, I'm probably in the bathroom. Call again. <laughs> <laughs> I would answer the phone in the bathroom. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I've never answered a phone in the bath. Oh, no. I'll answer numbers I don't recognize in the bathroom. Really? Yeah. No, I would like answer my mom in the bathroom. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we have that kind of a relationship. Really? Most of the time when I'm in the bathroom, I am just just J-N-O. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) C-N-O. One of the many pornos I like, I don't like to see. I have no choice but to see it. Is one where it's a lady who the guy comes up and is like, hey, you know, uh, and this is relevant to <laughs> certain situations where the, the guy comes knocks to the door and is like, hey, listen, uh, you're late on your rent, so uh, you need to pay your rent. And then the lady's like, oh, well, how about if I fuck you instead? And the guy's like, well, uh, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean, fuck, fuck me? And then, and then they have the sex while her husband is sitting on a couch. And then, and then, uh, like literally right there, like yeah. the husband's just like, whatever. I'm just gonna keep watching this game that's on mute, yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. And then, it's and then later they they finish. She's like, "So you're not gonna charge for rent?" And he's like, "No, I'm totally gonna charge your rent. I'm just really surprised that you had sex with me." Wow. And it's like, uh, what kind of a weird fantasy world is this porno set in where <laughs> sex doesn't work? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. I'm looking at you, Red Tube. Stop curating that for me. <laughs> yeah, why does it really think that you want that? <laughs> I think that's Red Tube's subtle way of being like, listen, you got to pay your rent. <laughs> Live within your means. One third income is the max. Seriously. There's a reason why people say that. Yeah. So this person asked me to clean their garage. Cool. Got it. If you'll notice, I don't think there's a house attached to this garage. It's just a garage. I think it's just, I can run. Ooh, this- hurry, clean. Uh, this game, I am, I am nervous about what this garage is going to look like, and this is the part where they would cut to a one-off of us going, "Yeah, I wasn't really prepared for the garage, but you know, I thought, hey, money's money. Yeah. How bad could it be? It's just a garage. And then, and then, and then there'd be a reverse shot of us opening the garage, and then there'd be a commercial for Nissan. <laughs> oh Christ! And then that's what we would say. Oh my! And then it cuts. <laughs> yeah. We're back with JoJo and Kim flipping. <laughs> flipping. <laughs> flipping out or flipping off with JoJo and Kim. Oh yeah, there should be a flipping off. <laughs> yep. We're we're in we we be an edgy an it's, edgy it's team. It's f- flipping houses meets jerking off. <laughs> I that that's a porno. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, that's not what we Whoa, we're haunted wow. tires. This points Oh. Up. I have news. What? I think that uh, I think Hank died. Oh, really? Yeah, Hank and his smelling melons. Really? Yeah, I think so. He, he was just like, he was just like, you're not gonna eat my melons because they <laughs> smell too bad. Well, <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then he died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's. I don't know. What was your feelings towards Hank towards the end? I feel Um, like they were negative. Oh, they've always been somewhat negative. Um, But (laughs) yeah, I just I wonder what's going to happen to his house because like he had like random people living in it. Oh, and then like a bunch of random people showed up like right before he died. Uh huh. um, Which I thought was really suspicious. And then Mike was like, "Well, maybe he was sick, and that's why people showed up." And I was like, "Oh, oh yeah, I guess that happens." Um, but yeah, like a bunch of people I'd never seen before showed up. I wonder what he died of. Oh, uh, being old and uh, smelly. And smelly. <laughs> Why is smelly a part of it? Being uh, smelly. I don't know. He just smelled so bad he died. <laughs> I felt uh, like that sometimes. If you think I'm going to take a bath <laughs> to get this horrible death stench off of me, well, I'm, I'm out of here. here. <laughs> 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 oh god <laughs> oh hank oh hank rest in peace out of here <laughs> r.i.p right out of here okay i, I for all Hudson. it's worth yeah yeah do you have to also fix the car because i have to wash the car oh because we can do that because of the other game that we played 
Well, because we have a car, broom? Yeah, no, the car fixing room. The, remember the car fixing game? I remember we played one episode of that, yes. Yeah. And I kept saying tire rod, and you oh, kept correcting it me. It was driving me insane. And I'm I, still mad. I, <laughs> it was right. You know what I think? That was like the last time we recorded. Before Pip was born? Yeah. Yeah, you probably induced labor. Yeah. So mad. You were so angry. And, and it's just like, he keeps, he keeps saying tire rod. It's fucking tie rod. It's a tie rod. And they're like, Miss Martell, we really need you to push right now. <laughs> we, we get it. It's a tremendous injustice, the like of which none of us could even imagine. But yeah. you're, you're having a baby. You're like, yeah. I'm having a moment yeah. right now. I, I, I was told to uh, stay focused, actually. <laughs> Uh, because I kept cracking jokes, and the doctor was like, "What? You didn't tell me you're cracking jokes? I actually know nothing about your delivery. You've not talked about oh, it. Oh well, why don't I tell you about it in the next episode? Are we actually at that point? Yeah. Wow, time yeah. flies when you're cleaning a garage," <laughs> said no one. <laughs> the roof oh. is the roof is on fire. The roof is on dirty. The roof is the dirtiest roof. So so. Oh, so, so I was going to tell you about my birth. Yeah, so that's how it happened is because we recorded on a day, and then the next thing you know, you're just like, hey, I'm in labor. <laughs> and we're like, okay. And then and then in the morning, Jeff and I were hanging out. I think we were recording, and then you messed us like, oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Made it. Lived. And we're like, okay, cool. That's a load off, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I, I worked a day, um, and then at the end of the day, I had a doctor's appointment. Uh-huh. And I went to the doctor's appointment and they said, uh, how long have you been having contractions? And I was like, I haven't been having contractions. And they're like, you're having one right now. And you're like, oh, and I, was I like, thought well, that was just the existential pain of yeah, existing. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, it's just that my stomach's super, super hard all the time. And they're like, yeah, you, how long has this been going on? And I was like, I don't know, like a week. And they're like, well, you, have you been having any, any symptoms of, of, you know, headaches or migraine? And I was like, no. Well, two days ago I had a migraine and I vomited a bunch, but now I feel fine. Um, and then my blood pressure was super high and <laughs> uh, Pip was in danger of dying. And so they were like, all right, well, we're going to induce. <laughs> like, uh, so you've been actively having your baby for yeah, a few yeah. days Apparently now? it was like, ah, I'd been in labor for like four Is days. Is that how people can like have a baby and not know it? Yeah, I guess. Because I was like totally, I worked every day. Um, and I was just kind of like a little bit uncomfortable. Thanks, Obama. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so, so I, uh, had the baby. Um, hey, Pip, you'll get a turn that, to talk. There Jesus. it is. Yeah. No. And then I had a baby. It's about you, but you don't have to say a fucking word. Yeah. Um, so they gave me a bunch of drugs. That's cool. And uh, I was in labor for 14 hours uh -huh. and it wasn't that bad. That's good. Um, 14 yeah. hours. Yeah. It really wasn't that bad. Okay. I um, believe you. I, guess. I got fentanyl. What's fentanyl? Fentanyl. It's great. It's that stuff that kills people who think they're doing heroin. Oh. It's so fun. I see why people do it. I would do it all the time if I could. It, it was amazing. <laughs> um, and they then, just get you high as balls? Yeah, they just get you high as balls. And I had some morphine. Yeah, and then... Uh, and that then caused Danielle to audibly cheer in another yeah, room. Yeah, and then I had an epidural and... Uh, Jesus, did they give you enough drugs? Yeah. <laughs> and then... Well, no, and then I had a shot of vitamin K, I think. I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Jeff says they gave her ketamine. And then... Um, Some crocodile. It's but the then, fake like, drug. But I was also like... I was also... I had a doula there. So, you know, like that's right, which for some reason, and I, I you didn't don't strike know me as a doula. No, 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 no. I, something about when you said doula and this might be racist, but my head went to witch doctor. <laughs> I don't know why she did shake a lot of dolls at me. No, um, <laughs> she, no her name Birth was, is a lot of doll shaking. Yeah, I think her name was Carrie. I don't know. I wasn't paying that close attention. <laughs> um, uh, she was she was really super good. And so like at the same time that I was getting like tons and tons of drugs, she'd be like, do you want me to get a little pillow for you to hug? Would you like to bounce on this ball? Here, let me put some lavender under your nose. Or is that Does that make you feel better? And I was just like, yeah, actually, because I'm fucking high as balls. Having Dude, somebody wave like, a little lavender under your nose is actually quite pleasant. You're like, do you want to bounce on this ball? You're like, 
dude, I we're do. all balls. Yeah, <laughs> I do want to bounce on this ball. Because that was the other thing. Like, I, I didn't want to get an epidural because I was told that once you, and it's true, once you have the epidural, you can't walk around. You're paralyzed from the waist down. I just upgraded my mop to a Swiffer. Yes. I just, I just needed to take a moment to point <laughs> that out. Sorry, go on. Um, so, and I wanted to walk around because I didn't want to be trapped in the bed. Well, my blood pressure was so high that I was a fall risk, and so they they confined me to a bed immediately. And so you're just like, fuck so it. I was like, fuck it, Load drugs. Me up. I was like, drugs, 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 drugs. And so they gave me the fentanyl, and I just looked the doctor in the face and said, why does anyone smoke weed? <laughs> <laughs> This is the best. And I was just like, <laughs> and I was like, can Mike have some? Can I, take, <laughs> can I take some home? And Mike was just, this was 14 hours of Mike being the most embarrassed I've ever seen him in his whole life. He's embarrassed. Yeah. You're half naked squirting out a human. Yeah, I know. Right. Um, <laughs> and Man. so, and, and at one point the doctor was like, all right, honey, I need you to, I need you to focus. You don't have to crack jokes. You're not here to make us laugh. You're here to give birth. And, and Mike was like, she can't help it. She honestly can't stop. And <laughs> we had a nurse from another room come in and say, is someone giving birth in here? Because I can hear laughter from the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And so it was, like, it was like a really bizarre situation. So by the time I was actually giving birth, I had a larger comedy audience than I have had. <laughs> like, Half of my shows. That tree that that tickles me a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, I I had a really like a super good crowd. That's great. Yeah, and they oh, were good. all really happy to be there because apparently, generally, births are like really unpleasant. Oh, I'm sure they and, are. And uh, mine was, uh, was no a, big it, deal. It was, it was a laugh a minute. And you know what? It's because of drugs. Thanks, drugs. Th- drugs. Brought to you by drugs. This baby was brought to you by drugs. Drugs. The baby can't have drugs. But if he didn't use drugs, there wouldn't be a baby. Nope. I Figure just, that one out, America. I would have just kept him inside. God damn it. This is an amazing yard for a just garage. Yep. <laughs> I like that Pip's finally asleep. I have to go soon. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> Fucking asshole. So Mike had to watch Pip three times this week, and uh, one of the times I got home... And I just heard, he's a fucking cunt. And I practically had a baby thrown at me. Oh. <laughs> and then Mike just went into his office and shut the door. And I was like, well, we're alone now, Pip. Congratulations. Good job, Pip. Good job. You uh, made your father leave us. So when someday Pip asks, did you and daddy get a divorce because of me? And I'm going to be like, well, it was a lot of complex issues. But yeah, mainly. I mean, you were the straw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We we had you to fix the marriage, and you did a bad job, Pip. So feel bad. Real feel bad, bad job. Son. Oh, you're actually doing pretty well here. Don't jinx it. I don't understand the... Uh... This. Oh, I can level up my paint. Faster painting, two walls at the same time, or less paint? Uh, Faster painting. Uh, okay. Two walls at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Two girls on wall. Yeah, it makes me it makes me think of office space. What was that in office space? When the guy he's uh he's like, "What would you do if you had if you uh if you could if you could do anything, what would you do?" And the guy meant like for work. Yeah. And he just goes immediately, "Two girls at the same time." <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if you could do anything, what would you do? That seems like a lot of pressure. Yeah, I I don't see the appeal of like adding extra people. Just like have it's sort of like a, like having a, like it's two like jobs. A, like why would you want two jobs? Just have one good job. Yeah, I can please one. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, can ba- I, I can please one woman if I'm like really on my game. Two, no, thank you. It's always like a dream, but that's the thing. It that's, needs to yeah. stay a dream. If it becomes reality, you know what? It just becomes another stress in your life. Like, what What if you're Sounds one of those people who can only get off with having sex with two people at the same time? That would be way too much. That would be, ho- that would be an awful, awful fetish. How would you even masturbate? <laughs> two hands? Different? You have to switch off hands? Yeah, I guess. That's I, too much I don't know. This is... I feel like the internet needs to help us with this. It's kind of weird, the thoughts that we come to when <laughs> we're legally painting a house. <laughs> it's just like, I wonder if I could handle a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that her answer is across the board, no. <laughs> it's like, no, definitely not. 
<laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I, can, I can paint this room, but I, I mean. It's just, it would be so crazy to see someone painting a house and be like, no threesomes. <laughs> no, no, definitely You're not. You're like, what? what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, wait. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. Volkswagen. I don't know. You don't know the different Volkswagens? How about this? Wait, wait. B. E. A. <laughs> T. A. B. T. L. Got it. Done. Damn it! Oh, she's like, wait, what? Oh! No, I, I don't know. Oh, I just fucking figured it out! Fuck! God damn it, you know the it's best so part? weird. What? I still don't know what it is. Oh, well, I totally know what it is. You... Oh, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking spell it wrong! I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the Volkswagen Tijuana. <laughs> I actually didn't know that that was a Volkswagen. It's the very, it's the very first. Wasn't car. there like a Volkswagen Tigenta or something? No. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, so okay. A couple of days. Uh, I guess in the logic of watching a show a couple of days ago, we talked about like reorganizing your your room or whatever, like every once in a while to yeah, make a difference. Yeah. When I was uh, in high school, I would reorganize my room like once every couple of months, and it was centered around like these bookcases I had because I had these two bookcases and yeah. I still have them. I think they're at my dad's house, but um, I'll check it out when I drop Pip off. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll let him sleep in the bookcases. Uh, but I had these two bookcases, and I and every time I would be like, "Man, I need to reorganize my room. I don't like how it looks." And I, I would first thing I would always do is decide where these two bookcases would go. And sometimes they would be like cover in front of a window, or sometimes I would put them against like a wall. You would cover a window with yeah, the bookcases. Cover, yeah, you fucking animal. I know, I know. I had I'd spent a lot of time with these bookcases. <laughs> Look, shut up. Wow, that's I, not as bad as what I would do. That's like a cry for help. No, you want to hear the real cry for help? This will this will not startle you. When I was uh, in high school, um, uh, on summer breaks, I would stay up way too late every single night. So I would sleep during the day like a vampire would. Yeah. And it would be very hard for me to go to sleep during the day because... Um, you move the bookcases away from the window? Well, that. But also, like, the sun would get in my room because my, right. my, my room faced, like, south. So, like, all, all this every day the sun's just fucking pouring into my room. Um, so I was like, well, the sun keeps shining in my room so I can't sleep. Thing about that... And yes, I need to destroy the sun, Jeff. No, like I, I was like, well, I need a way to reflect the sun out. What reflects out light? Can what reflects light? A mirror. Okay, but what if I can't just set up a mirror? What could I use? I don't know. What did you do? Aluminum foil. Oh my God. <laughs> That's right. Windows <laughs> with aluminum foil on them. That like was a, me in high school. Like a frickin' meth head. <laughs> exactly. My room was like a dank cave. Oh, my God. Yep. Before or after you met Holly? This is before. <laughs> this is way before I met Holly. When I met Holly, I cleaned up my room. <laughs> and my act, if you know what I'm saying. I also didn't have a mattress for a while. It was rough. <laughs> oh my God. I think I had an air mattress for a while. And I remember one night I was going to bed and I just felt it deflate. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I just lay there and I'm like sinking, 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 sinking flat. Yeah. I'm on the floor now. That's fun. I'm sleeping on the floor. <laughs> yeah. That's where my life is. Yeah. Uh, who does care? Who, who, in, who, who indeed? Who, who, who doesn't? Who, who do care? There's got to be some way to fuck it. Got to be. That's what a, an octopus says to a bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> octopus just lives with the bagpipe like, holy crap. That's I've never found someone who's fully compatible. <laughs> That's the uh, punchline of a very stupid joke that my friend used to tell. Really? Yeah, it was What's a... What's the joke? It's, uh, so uh, 
a guy comes into a bar and he's got an octopus and the bartender says, you can't have that octopus. This is a bar. And the guy's like, well, this is a special octopus. It actually um, can play any instrument. And, uh, and the bartender was like, really? And so he, he like has him go over to the piano and the octopus plays like beautiful piano. Yeah. And he's like, well, what about this guitar? And the octopus plays the guitar like super, super well. Yeah. And the, oct- the bartender's like, okay, hold on one, one more. And he like goes out and back and brings back a bagpipe and gives it to the octopus. And the octopus just stares at it and he like picks it up and he looks at it and he flips it over. And he's like, you know, what, what what's he doing? Like, why, why isn't he playing it? And the octopus is like, play it. I'm just trying to figure out how to fuck it. <laughs> and it's that's such a dumb joke. <laughs> so funny. It's so silly. It's so like the premise of the joke is so silly because it's like the bartender's not like, hey, you can't bring an octopus in here unless it can play an instrument. And then you can like <laughs> it's like a, like the premise of the joke is so silly. And then the way I'm just trying to figure out how to fuck it. Yeah. That's, that's all you're trying to get to is the yeah, idea of a, the idea of an octopus fucking a bagpipe. Oh, uh, so good. Yeah, which I haven't thought about that joke in years. But yeah, that one pissed me off. There was another one. They were like chip hacks. Like hacks for what? chips. Ooh, ooh, I want to know about chip hacks. No, you don't. So, okay, here was one. Is this woman pretty attractive. First one, she's eating chips out of a bag. Bag is empty, out of chips. And she's Aww. like, man, I want more chips. Because there's chip dust at the bottom of the bag. So she gets some scissors. She cuts the uh, a, a small sliver out of the corner of the bag. Little does she know. It just grows right back. N- yeah. No, well, the, the chip bag doesn't grow No, right no, back. no. I'm saying when you cut, it just grows right back. I know. So I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Um, uh, there's a oh cauldron. My God. Wait, wait, wait. Put wait, that wait, thing wait. in the cauldron. No, no, wait. I think i got to throw this at it. I, th- I bet you have to th- throw it in the cauldron, but whatever. Mm, well, the cauldron's for te- teleporting around the dungeon. Oh, okay. So then throw. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Good job, man. So she, okay, takes, anyway. she takes the scissors, clips a little thing in the corner of the bag, and then uh, the sliver that she cuts goes down her shirt. It was stupid. And then she ate the crumbs out of the bag. I'm like, that's not a hack. That's not a hack. That's just eating fucking crumbs out of a bag. There was another one where... There were chips, and she was reaching into the bag to eat them, and then she was like, "Ah!" Oh. And then she pulled a pair of chopsticks out of her hair. What? What the fuck are you watching? Oh, we can show you these. And then there was another one. This was the one that made me realize that it was bullshit. She was walking around a field. I guess she was outside, and um, she starts doing. She's wearing a, a leather jacket. Okay. She's wearing a leather jacket, bright sunny day, no snow on the ground, nothing. And then she starts doing that thing like where you rub your shoulders like you're really cold. Yeah. She takes out a bag of chips, fresh bag of chips, right? Yeah. Dumps them on the ground, sets them on fire. Oh. And then holds her hand over it like, ah, look how warm this is. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's talk more about this. There was a comment on that video that just said, and I quote, bitch. (laughs) <laughs> was it from you? No. Was it from me? No. Uh-uh. See you guys tomorrow. All right. Buy your shirts. There, there it goes. Went. There it went. These yeah. fucking guys. Yeah. My brother doesn't like that we say next time. Why? Because other people say next time. Yeah, everybody like, says next generic, time. That's like that fray, that saying that uh, work hard or go home or whatever. Yeah, that's go just big or something. Go yeah, home. That's just something people say. So maybe that should be our catchphrase yeah. at the end of the episode. Go big or go home. JoJo has fun. <laughs> go big or ho- go home. What do you have to lo- lose? Yeah. Eliza Dishku. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Eliza <laughs> Dishku. Yeah. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. JoJo has fun. It was. It was a. It was a. What was it? It was the. This was this the winter of our discontent. Yes. JoJo has fun. <laughs> I saw the greatest minds of my generation torn apart by madness. Jojo has fun. <laughs> <laughs> this time. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> <laughs> April is the cruelest. <laughs> Jojo has fun. Beware the lines of March. Jojo has fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think I have anything else. Um, uh, uh, mm. What's that? Oh, I can't remember anything. Oh, um. Um. Oh, fuck. What was that thing? Um. Last poor Yorick. I knew him well. Oh yeah, a fellow of infinite jest, most divine fancy. 
Joe Dress. <laughs> That was it, right? A fellow of yeah. infinite jest, most divine fancy. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I, we could do a lot of Shakespeare. Judge has yeah. fun. Yeah. I hate Shakespeare. We do Shakespeare while we play games. Judge has fun. Judge has fun. You hate Shakespeare? Yeah. Have you ever had to see a play live? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I, wait. Have I? Have I've you, seen a lot of recorded. I actually went to go see a play when a few years ago, and uh, I went once. And my friends asked me back, and I feel comfortable saying this because there's there's a strong chance they will never watch this show, regardless of how successful we become. Yeah. Um, They asked me to go see another one, and on the way there, either me, I had either my friend or Holly pretend to have a panic attack, so we didn't have to go. Wow. And instead of going to see a Shakespearean play, we went to go see Ted. That's uh, that's that's a something that I don't think anyone would ever say about the film Ted. Better than Shakespeare. Wow. <laughs> because I saw it instead of Shakespeare. And if you like plays, that's fine. You can like plays. But you've become a very specific niche. Yeah, if you like Shakespeare. Because, like, I like... I mean, I saw, like, the... I saw... Uh, of Mice and Men, and that was really powerful yeah. and good. And I saw Fences, and that was really powerful and good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Shakespeare blows. Shakespeare, uh, what I don't think a lot of people understand is uh, Shakespeare was the trash of his time. He, he was literally the smut that you would go to see. He was the Ted of his of, time. Yes, he was the Ted of his time. It was the Ted of times. It was the Ted of times. It was the... Shakespeare of Times. Yes. Jojo has fun. Jojo has fun. He, that's what that you you would go to those plays and people would be yelling and talking shit and like getting super trashed. Stab him, you would hear. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's finish painting this room tomorrow. You sure? Yes. Okay. Well, see you guys <laughs> last time. <laughs> that fucking better, Kim's brother. <laughs> Bye. You just watch the best of this month on our show. And if you don't want to leave yet, you don't have to go. You can watch some series and laugh all through the night. And if you'd like to thank us, leave a comment and subscribe. Oh, yeah.